In this problem, um, the first thing we notice is lambda is equal to point 0.12 and our t is equal to 10. So to find our mean, our mean is multiplying the two together. So lambda t. So I have 0 0.12 times 10, which I hate decimals, but I think that's 1.2. So that's our mean. <coughs> now, part B, it says the probability that x is less than 4. Well, what that means is the probability that x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, it's less than 4, which means it doesn't include 4. Now, if your numbers go from 0 up to a number, that's where you can use Poisson CDF. So I type. Um, I use Poisson CDF, and then we have our, um, uh, I don't remember the order of the parameters, mean first, I believe. So 1.2, comma, and then our x value, our which is the ending value when you're going from 0 up to a number. So I'll put 3 in here. Let's put that in. Just to make sure I have um, have the appropriate order on the, the parameters. Okay, so I'm going to exit out. I was in graph mode. Um, we go into our distribution, so I do second bars. I do up arrow. That probably is the fastest way to find it. And go to Poisson CDF and press enter. And then we'll put in our mean, which is 1.2, comma, and then our x value, which is 3. You can put a closing parenthesis if you want. You don't have to at the very end. Enter. And we get 0.9662. This will allow me to type this in here. 0.9662. Okay. Now this one is x is greater than or equal to 4. X is greater than or equal to 4. Well, let's let's think what that means. Um, that means x can be 4, 5, 6, and it goes on forever. It goes up to infinity. Now, um, to use Poisson CDF, it has to go from 0 up to a number. So we need to rewrite this. Well, imagine if I have um, the probability that x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, forever. This is all possibilities. I can't have x equals negative, so this is everything. Uh, minus. And then if I take the list of everything and I subtract off 0 through 3, so if I subtract off x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, let's see what that gives us. Okay, so this is everything. If I cross off 0 through 3, that's going to leave us 4, 5, 6 on up. Well, notice on each one of these, these each one of these goes from 0 up to a number, so th which is the form I was looking for. But even easier than that, if this encompasses everything, probability-wise, everything is 1. So do 1 minus, and then I'll do this one. Poisson, CDF, put in our mean again, which is 1.2, and then our ending value when you go from 0 up to a number, which is, again, 3. And uh, I won't actually plug this one in, but that'll give you your answer. And uh, one more example. Uh, let's show um, between 4 and 6, including 4 and 6. Like this. Okay, well, let's first write down what, what uh, that entails. Well, that means 4, 5, and 6. Well, it's not from 0 up to a number. The only time I can use Poisson CDF is when it goes from 0 up to a number. Um, well, think of if I have x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have those possibilities. I want to end up with 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to subtract off x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Because again, if I took this list and I crossed off 0 through 3, that would leave me 4, 5, 6. Well, both of these are going from 0 up to a number. 
um, which is what Poisson CDF is looking for. I'll abbreviate it here. Poisson CDF 1.2 comma 6 minus Poisson CDF um, and then 1.2 comma 3. Now you're going to see a pattern on these, and this is true of all the patterns on these uh, Poisson CDF problems. If it's straight from zero up to a number, then whatever number you have here just goes right there. If it's going from a number up to infinity, going from like four forever um, increasing, well then you're going to take this number here, subtract one from it. 4 minus 1 gives us 3, and you put it here, and then this is always 1 minus. There's patterns to these. Now over here, uh, if it's going from a number up to another number, then um, whatever number you have right here, that's what goes right there. Whatever number you have right here, you subtract 1 from it, and it goes right there. Now in the video on Math Heels, I've created a, a table that it makes this a little bit simpler, so you can refer to that if you if you want. But I wanted to show you this because this helps uh, demonstrate the setup and, and where do the numbers come from. Uh, the table uh, that I've outlined in that video is just blindly plugging in numbers given the pattern I just, just mentioned. 